Barnet 2, Wildstone 0, Derby Day victory. Dean, what are your thoughts after that performance? Great performance from the players. Uh, nothing that I didn't know already about them. Character, togetherness, prepared to go to the line, brave at times, and um, I thought all around it was a convincing victory. Um, so, good victory for us. First goal was very quick and intelligent free kick, quick, uh, free kick to Harry Pritchard. What you, is that something you worked on in the training ground? Yeah, we spoke about them obviously being quite open on the turn over the ball. They're very open side, um, so they want to play quite expansive. And we knew there were a lot of gaps, so if we turned the ball over quick, we know we could hurt them. And then on that scenario there, it was a hand-on free kick. Just bright play, really, from uh, Nicky Cabamba. And great run from Pritch. Good finish. And, uh, yeah, really good goal. It was a good first half performance. At half time, you took Kanu off. Is that was that a tactical substitution, or did he pick up a knock? Are you mad? It's Kanu was our best player. <laughs> He's, he picked up a uh, little, little feel his quad a little bit, so just don't want to take any risks. Um, he's a superstar for us. I believe the kind of had a stayed on second half, we would have had much more goals. So he's got so much quality, and they they changed the formation at half time, um, and for us that opened up for us really. Um, so yeah, so look, um, it's, it's hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, we'll get it scanned and see how it is and go from there. You mentioned to me yesterday you wanted a strong referee performance. That second goal where Marvin was brought down, it could have been quickly e easily given as a penalty, but the referee played on and we got the second goal. What is your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's one of them situations where, look, at the time, I thought straight away penalty and red card. Um, but look, he's played around and managed to get 2 0 up, and um, that would have made a huge difference to the game as well. But look, all in all, I, I thought the referee performance was excellent, to be totally honest with you. Um, a little bit trigger happy with the yellow cards. I did speak to him at half time about that, but Rob's one of the better referees in the division, and he's always approachable, and that helps when, with refereeing. Um, he's someone you can always speak to. Um, it gives you a clear understanding of his decisions and what he's seeing. So, uh, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a good official for the 11. I thought he was an excellent performance from him today. There was a formation change. Shields, he came on uh, for Anzi. What was the thing behind that? The thing behind that was they were just getting too much joy, hitting a few doyags. Uh, we wanted to shut down the flanks. Uh, we changed from a three to a four. Shields, he's a winger. We needed a ball carrier as well, someone that could dribble with the ball, that could gain yards. So they obviously they're going to take caution to the wind. They're going to throw things at, at us. So because uh, um, they're two 0 down. So um, but look, um, the only thing I would say for us is this is why we need a centre forward. And I said this to you last week. When the game stretched like that, we need to bring on another forward, forward, um, and we can get more goals. Um, and so for me, that's the only thing for me where you know I'm really, I think we can improve as a team. Um, but we're, in, in the sense of our performance levels, every game this year the boys will give everything, they continue to do that and we'll continue to take it one game at a time. Um, and the boys now, uh, we'll move, obviously we'll enjoy this weekend and we'll move on to the next game sharply. This division's relentless so um, it's just another three points to us. There's a lovely moment at the end going to the fans, they were happy taking the bragging rights today. What's your message to them after today's performance? Yeah, I thought we showed a lot of class with our victory, you know. There was no craziness, no stupidness that we've seen before when we're in defeat. Very important, we're humble here. Um, and our supporters are humble. Myself, I'm humble. Um, our players are humble. And that's, that's so important. So for us, like I say, it's just three points, move on to the next game. It's great for our supporters to win in the derby. You know, we've got two derbies coming up again, you know, at Christmas time against Boreham Wood. So just got to keep taking it one game at a time. And that is for our supporters. It's so important that they enjoy that. Uh, we've got another week with only one game. Is that good for you? And uh, what's the preparations ahead of next week to Halifax? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, we'll travel up next Friday, which is important. We've got an overnight, so that'll be good for togetherness as well. That breeds a lot of togetherness, eating together, sleeping together. That's a good thing. So we'll do that next week. And then, we'll, like I say, we'll dissect the game Monday morning. Well, I'll, do, I'll do it tonight and tomorrow. And we'll debrief it on Monday morning, and uh, Monday and Tuesday. And then from Wednesday, we'll start focusing on Halifax, Thursday, Friday, train again, and then just move on to the next game. That's so important. Halifax did a good win today. They're in fine fettle as well at the minute. So there's just no easy games. We just can't. The biggest thing for us is we can't drop the ball. We can't drop our guard. We've got to stay on top of what we're doing. Great to get a clean sheet again. That's so important. I still believe we can score more goals. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. Cheers.